guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be sharing with you amazing life hacks from pastor Liki adiboye <music> pastor Liki adiboye happens to be the son of the one of the most famous men of the great god in this nation pastor in Adeboye. adiboye so sometimes he shared how he made his first million naira or first millions selling wristbands you and i know that it's common with within church every time there is a program a camping a picnic a conference whatever it is there's always a wristband souvenir so sometimes ago he shared various ways in which upcoming or uh, aspiring entrepreneurs can actually make use of anything or whatever it is that they find around them to become rich so if you desire to have money like you want to have more you want to be rich i suggest that you watch this video to the end because i'm going to be sharing with you amazing way in which you can actually start small and become big and i'm getting the inspiration from what pastor Lika adipo shared the other time so make sure that you watch to the end yo welcome back i'm sure that you've subscribed to my channel and that you've liked the video so make sure you watch it to the end so sharing how he made his five millions of naira he said that there are certain things that every entrepreneur needs to consider that he considered when he was actually starting out so the first thing he mentioned was that you really need to start small yes it's not everybody that has the rich uncle or rich daddy that's going to help them to start really big so don't wait till you have all the money you have everything organized and stabilized before you say that you start you can actually start small from where you are and whatever you have just look around you and start and just start right now and number two he said you should pay attention by focusing on little things this is really important there are a lot of things that we need in this country he mentioned an example of toothpick he said we all know that everybody uses toothpick to pick our teeth we use it to eat small chops and some other things like that that we use toothpick to do why do we need to be importing toothpick to nigeria when we have a load loads of threes all over the country why can't you just think of okay how are they making toothpick look into it if it's working for you you can just start it so in a nutshell he tried to explain that we should look around us look around you look for things that is needed and provide it definitely people will buy it as much as they need it and as long as it is so much needed so paying attention to little things would help you to do this when you're able to pay attention to little little things you will know that oh what if i start selling this thing it means people will buy it oh this thing is not in my area i think i can start selling it then that's how to start small and you're going higher he also said that you should look for niches yes it's 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 close to paying attention too so he said that you should look for niches first when looking for a niche try to see if it's something that goes well with you like something you have passion for because you really need to like what you do so that you will not be frustrated along the line because when you're starting small you should expect that it will not boom immediately and people, people may not know you you may be afraid of competition and the likes so you really need to pick a niche that works for you one and a niche that is needed in your area wherever you are or in your country a niche if you're picking something that they don't eat in nigeria or they don't wear in nigeria or they don't use in in your country wherever country you are in the world make sure that whatever you're picking is something that is needed in your environment and lastly he said that you should embrace entrepreneurship embrace entrepreneurship i will use nigeria as an example here go where the days when they tell you that once you go to school your problem is solved once you go to school you are rich my dear sisters and brothers that was a, that is a story i mean that was in those days Ripu. The rich people, the people that are living well, living large, are entrepreneurs. So you really have to, I'm not saying you should not go to school. I went to school as well. I'm not saying you should not study. But as you're doing that, you should be thinking of how better and how best to make money. And this is by being an entrepreneur. Think entrepreneurship. Think being an entrepreneur. Look for what you can start selling. Look for a skill that you can start learning. There's going to be a service that you're going to be rendering to people to cash out. Because, my dear sister, if you know book, eh, 
a professor, you are a, you are a doctor, you are this, that, 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 and you are broke. Ah, where is the honor? Honestly, let's just be frank with ourselves. So please, I hope that you found this, all these things, all these four amazing principles on how Pastor Lekia Adeboe made his first million. I believe you find them really, really inspiring and you've learned one or two things so if you are afraid of starting out as an entrepreneur please i want to encourage you this moment that you should not be afraid just go ahead and start up have faith in yourself and believe in what you can do and definitely you're going to achieve it i would like to add that you keep praying to god because he's the author and finisher of our faith everything lies in his end and he's going to do exceedingly abundantly above all for you Thank you for watching till the end. I'll see you some other time. Have a great day. Bye. Go make money.